Denise Boyd here, and today's Motivational Monday post is entitled, The Power of You. So today is all about the power of you. Yes, you. There is an enormous amount of power within you, whether you know it or not, okay? But here's the deal. A lot of us have suppressed that power within us because of things that we have gone through, things that we do on a habitual basis, so many different things. And a lot of people, especially a lot of prominent, what's the word, professional development people, people in that field, they will say that it's all about your programming. And honestly, it is. <laughs> but I'm going to give you three things today that are going to help you see where you are right now and help you to go to where you need to be with that power that's within you. I will warn you, some of the things that I'm going to say today are gonna to seem repetitive, but they are, they're repetitive on purpose. What do I mean by that? So as children, do you ever notice as a child, you needed to hear things over and over and over again before you got it? Um, your own kids, if you have kids, my kids, they have to hear things over and over and over before they get it. And the crazy thing is, you all, even as adults, sometimes we are the same way. If you notice, if you watch TV, they normally show the same things over and over and over again. And what do we normally do? We watch them over and over and over again. <laughs> and that's okay. However, some of the things that you watch over and over and over again actually get ingrained into your mind and become a part of your programming, part of your belief, etc. But I will explain all that in a minute. So let me get to the three things, three things that are important for you so that you can tap into the power of you. And those three things are belief, knowledge, and action. So of course, I'm going to start with belief. So the things that you believe, believe it or not, <laughs> are what pretty much composes everything that you believe about yourself or think about yourself or who you believe you are, okay? So where does it come from? So your belief system can be stemmed from ancestors, your ancestors, it could stem from your parents, it could stem from what you do, like your job, it could stem from anywhere really what you watch all the time. So all these things have something to do with your belief system. And a lot of the things that you have been listening to, watching, the people you've been listening to and watching, they have been planting seeds in your head, believe it or not. So whatever goes in, <laughs> comes out in some shape or form. So whatever those people or whatever you hear or whatever you see has planted in your mind, it shows up in some kind of way. So if you have been around people who have told you that you'll never amount to anything, you won't be anything better than a whatever, you know, whatever they said, then you started believing those things because that's all you heard. You never heard anyone say, oh yes, you can do it. You better go, you can do this, you know? Um, so it's all about your belief. So here's the deal, who do you believe you are right now? Do you believe that you can be successful. Do you believe you have that in you? If you don't believe that you have that in you, I want to push you now because everyone's always talking about faith, faith the size of a mustard seed. Listen to me, faith is not always supposed to stay the side of a mustard seed. And then think about the word seed. A seed is supposed to grow. <laughs> if it doesn't grow, then it's not doing anything. So yes, it's okay to have it's okay to have faith the size of a mustard seed, but it's not okay to plant it in the wrong place so that it cannot grow. So what do I mean? So think about yourself as a seed. Plant yourself in the right places so that you can grow, and therefore your belief in yourself will begin to change as you start planting yourself around other people who have the belief that you want to have of yourself or that you should have because everything you need is already within you. I promise you. All those dreams that you have been having, let's think about think about when you were a child. What did you want to do? What were those things you thought about? Me, for example, I always wanted to have my own business. That's all I ever wanted as a child. But growing up, it didn't happen that way because of the people around me. The things around me, like I grew up in middle class, 
Everything was about go to school, get a job, you know, and it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it was keeping me from what was purposed for me. And that's being an entrepreneur. And I love you all. I love what I do. I love giving you all this knowledge and I love learning, okay? So when I learn, I give you all what I learn. So I want you to plant yourself in a place where you can get the belief of other people, the belief that you want to have in your life. Think about it this way. If you, my friend, are hanging around 15 bums, <laughs> you're soon to become the 16th, if you're not already that. So really take account of the type of people you hang around. I'm serious. Take a people, take account of the people that you hang around and they will tell you a lot about who you are or who you will soon become. And if you are around those people, sometimes it's a good it's a good thing to be around them, but to start taking in their beliefs is not necessarily a good thing. There to help, but not there to take on their beliefs, okay? So the next thing is knowledge. So they say the more you know, the more you grow. So here's the deal. A lot of times fear comes into play because of the knowledge we already have and the knowledge that's out there that we won't go get. So think about it this way. The knowledge, okay, so if you are fearful, it is because someone else has already given you knowledge of things that you should be afraid of. And the crazy thing is that you're leaning on that understanding instead of reaching out there to a deeper form of understanding. And to get that understanding, you have to get knowledge, okay? Knowledge is the key. Like, I would not be where I am today if I decided not to go get that knowledge. So I'm here to tell you, go learn. If you don't do anything else, learn those things that you are interested in. Learn those things that bring you joy. Learn them and you never know. You, my friend, could get to the point where you are able to reach out to other people. Because look at it this way. We were all created with something that we have to offer. We all have something to offer, but not all of us are willing to give what we have to offer. And normally that is because we don't have the knowledge. We don't have the knowledge. And in some cases, we don't have the willpower, but that willpower comes from our belief, okay? All right, so first we talked about belief, and then we talked about knowledge. Now this last one is the one that put these two all together. The last one is action. So look, it means nothing if you do not put your new belief system and your new knowledge to work. If you don't, it's just as bad as you know, not having any knowledge, okay? So action is everything. Put your, put whatever it is that you are learning towards being the you that you deserve to be, put that together and put it to action. Think about it this way. So me, I'll put me in here. So I took a long time to get on YouTube. It took a long time to get on TikTok. It took a long time to get on whatever platform you want to name. If I'm on there, it took me a while. And let me tell you why. Because I was thinking, oh, when I'm skinnier, oh, when I'm whatever, when my hair is whatever, <laughs> when I have the kind of clothes I want, when, when my face isn't breaking out and stuff like that. And if I were to wait on that, I'd be waiting forever. You all wouldn't even know that I even exist and I would not be able to help you the way that I want to. But I realized that if I allow that when this, when this, when this, you know, thing um, happen, if I allowed that to keep holding me back, then I wouldn't be here. And someone would be missing out on something that I have to offer. And I'm telling you, you have so much to offer too. So why am I telling you this? Because the longer you hold that in, you, your success is stalled. But not only that, the success of others might be stalled too. Like for example, I believe that if I would not be doing what I'm doing, that my daughter would not have decided to do something that she wants to do. So my eight-year-old decided to become a YouTuber, a content creator, and of course I said yes. <laughs> and because I said yes, she sees that she can actually 
do these things and she sees that I'm not trying to hold her back. Now, when I was younger, I didn't know much better and I held my now 19 year old back from doing that. Thankfully, you know, she's still okay. She's in college. I'm taking up engineering, which is pretty cool, but I want to make sure that no matter what they do, the knowledge they have that they put to action. Action is everything. So how do you put things into action? Um, do it. <laughs> do it. So learn first, learn, and then imply, I mean, then make it happen. Learn first and then pretty much implement those things. So for me, I have learned how to do some things. I know what I know. I know what I have. But the thing is, if I were not to implement these things, I would not be here. And some of you all, some of the people that I have met would not be in the situations that they are in. So I am so grateful that I was able to even, you know, make a difference in someone's life. And I'm hoping that you will tell me in the future that I have made some kind of a difference in your life, all right? So here's the deal. I want you, my challenge to you is to look at what you believe in, to look at what you know, and to look at your actions. So what is, what do you think some of the beliefs are that are holding you back? And literally write this stuff down, type it in your phone, whatever you want to do. Um, think about the beliefs that you have, what beliefs are holding you back? Think about it. And then think about your knowledge. What knowledge do you have that you can give to help others? And what knowledge do you need to help you grow more so that you can help others more? Because you all, everything is all about helping others. If you think about how money flows, money flows as a way of helping others. Think about it. You go to the grocery store, buy groceries because it helps you. <laughs> Someone plants a field of, you know, crops <laughs> for other people because they're helping them. People have schools. It's helping. Everything that you see is helping someone else. Someone built my house to, it was helping me, you know? And so everything that's done is normally to help others. So as long as you are really thinking about it as a way to help others, then my friend, you're going to be okay, but make sure that knowledge is coming behind what you need to know. So there are things that I know, but there are some things that I had to learn and there's still some things that I'm learning and I love it. Like it's, it's always something to learn. If you feel like you know it all, you'll never get far. But if you are coachable, if you are teachable, then you can make it, okay? So as you're putting that action into place, make sure that you learn as you implement. Learn, then implement. Learn, then implement, or implement as you learn. Either way, take that action and you will learn because when I tell you all I've learned so much, I've learned so much. <laughs> so another thing with action is, Believe it or not, sometimes you have to do things even when you don't feel like you're ready to do it. Yep, that's what I said. Even if you don't feel like you're ready to do it, that's probably the best time to do it. It's going to force you to, to stand on your faith. So let's just bring it back together here. So the three topics to help you pull out the power of you in your life is first, your belief. Second, your knowledge. And last, your action. Belief, knowledge, action. Don't forget, take note of those things in those three areas that are going on in your life and also decide what you can change on those. And listen, if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. The more subscribers help me so that I can bring you all more good content. I want to keep bringing you all value because I love this, you all. And also, if I have given you any value, please leave me a heart in the comments or any kind of comment in the comment section. Um, and don't forget, you can click the bell if you want notifications because every Monday I do a Motivational Monday post or a video. And then every Friday, you get a payday your way Friday to show you how to make money your way. Thanks so much for watching. And as I always say, stay peaceful, positive, and productive. I'll see you next time.